Hello, I have a spreadsheet here with a lot of people's names in one column, their dates of birth in the second column, but I want to have their age in the third column. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate someone's age from their date of birth using one simple formula. So in this spreadsheet, we've got people's names in column A. We have their dates of birth in column B, and that's not in any order at all. In column C, I want to have each person's age automatically calculated, so I can see how old they are in years without having to work it out. It's very easy, and there are two parts to this. The first part is the formula, which I'll write in capitals, date diff. Date diff. The difference between two dates. I know that looks a little bit like dated if, but it is date diff, all right, but written together, date diff. That is the, the formula that we need. The other part of this is a function that's built into Microsoft Excel, which is now. And then, because it's a function, we have uh, open and close brackets after it. If I was to just write equals now, what we get is the current date and time. Excel knows, using your computer's clock, what date and time it is right now. So putting these two things together with the formula date diff, working out the difference between two dates, and then using the date of birth and the now function, we can work out how old somebody is. Let's work out the formula. We start off, of course, with equals. So equals, and then it's date diff. Now we open up our brackets so we're able to tell Excel where all this data is. The first thing we need is the first date, the earliest date, which is, of course, the date of birth. So we click on the date of birth. Now we put a comma and give Excel the second bit of information that it needs. If the first bit of information it needs to work out the difference between two dates is the starting date, the date of birth, the second date that it needs is now. What date is it now? If we need to know how old someone is now, then it's now that we need to uh, build into this. So we simply write now, but don't forget those brackets. So we're looking for the difference between two dates starting with the date of birth, finishing with whatever the current date is, but there's one more thing we need to add into this. Because if we're talking about somebody's age, you and I know that we're talking in terms of years. We need to know how old somebody is in years. But Excel doesn't know that. Excel has no idea that this is an age at all that we're working out. It just needs to know uh, well, it, we, we, it knows that we're asking it to work out the difference between two values, which are formatted as dates. How it represents that, it doesn't know. We have to tell it. There are three basic options here. It could work out the difference between those two dates in days, or it could work it out in months, or it could work it out in years. And what we have to do is open up speech marks and put either the letter D, if we wanted to work out the difference in days, M, if we wanted it to work out the difference in months, and of course Y, if we want it to work out the difference between these two dates in years. So we put a Y in speech marks and then close our brackets. So that's our formula, that's it finished. Working out the difference between two dates using date diff, starting with the first date, finishing with whatever the date is now, and showing the answer in years. If I press enter, we can see that David is currently 17 years old, 
and if I was to click on this cell and just grab the little handle at the bottom right corner I can click hold and drag down so I'm replicating that formula all the way down that column so that I can now see at a glance exactly how old every single person is in this particular class and because we're using the now function it will automatically update so whenever I look at this spreadsheet whenever I open this spreadsheet it will always show me that person's current so it will be refreshed and updated every single time I, I make a change to this spreadsheet I close it I reopen it uh, the information will be live and updated so there we are